Hi guys, welcome to Audio Media Channel. This is Sello Kumar. I would like to present a demo on the LoopDeck CT, a revolutionary control surface for a variety of applications, including Adobe Lightroom, Photoshop, and Capture One for photo editing, Logic Pro 10, Pro Tools, and Ableton Live for music production, DaVinci Resolve, Avid Media Composer, and Final Cut Pro for video editing. The whole interface is touch compatible, so you can just swipe and go to the different pages. Now I click on Lightroom. All the parameters of Lightroom are displayed here. So now I have the Lightroom interface here. So I'm going to edit these images using this control surface. This is a shoot I did with Crimson Fashions. The models are Pradayani and uh, Rochelle Rao. So now let's look at the edit process using loop deck. So now I'm going to go to this view where I just look at the image. I don't even need to touch any of the sliders or anything in Lightroom. Everything can be controlled from the interface itself. So I just hit on Lightroom. So I go to all the parameters. So this is the image I'm going to edit. The first thing I want to do is I want to crop it. So I click on the, this one and then I will dial. I can adjust the crop, hit the enter key. So the image is cropped now. There are a variety of parameters on either side. There are six dials, three on either side. The first dial will adjust the temperature control. So I want the image to become cooler, I go on the left hand side. If I want to make it warmer, I go on the right hand side. Okay, I think this is good. The next knob is a exposure knob. So I can increase the exposure if I need, or I can also decrease it. So if I go overboard on the exposure, I can click on top of the knob to reset the value, then I set it to my desired value. Next is the contrast. So I increase the contrast a little bit. Okay, this contrast is good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the highlights a little bit. And then the next parameter is blacks. If you look at the black value, it could be increased a little bit. And also I can go to the next set of parameters by swiping on top. So now I have the white values for the image. I can reduce the white values. Also open the blacks a little bit more and then add some clarity to the image. So you see. Now I will also do some vibrance. So vibrance is like saturation. So I could increase the vibrance image and also if I want I can introduce a tint to the skin tones which I don't want to do for this image. So all the parameter adjustments are done. The image is looking quite good. So I will just copy all the settings. Hitting the right arrow key I can go to the next image. I'll paste all those parameters for this image. So whatever adjustments we did in the past is all pasted except for the crop. So I press this button and let's crop it again to our requirement. So hit the key. So now here we have the image. It's got all the parameters that we did before. Plus I have also crop the image now. So this is how simple it is. It's not only Lightroom, you can also work with uh, Capture One. So the next demo we are going to see, I'm going to show you how to use the software with Logic Pro. This is my working page. I have, I'm in the Logic interface. Uh, you can see the loop deck is displaying all the parameters that work with Logic. So on the dial, I have the bottommost part, which says 
play stop so get on that so now if i move this i can select the various tracks now this track is going to be playing if i want to hear it in solo that is if i want to hear only this track i hit the solo button then only that track is active now if i play i can only hear what is there in the track take the so if i take off the solo then all the tracks will play if i hit the cycle mode the yellow bar will appear on top of the interface the int the meaning for the yellow bar is after the 16 bars are done it will loop back so i'll show this more so like i will loop only the first four bars if i play now so see that portion keeps on looping if i take it off then it's going to play the whole thing we want to horizontally zoom the interface i can just zoom so horizontal zoom and this is the vertical zoom so you will actually see the tracks much taller so this is also very useful i hit the return key i go to the beginning of the song and then I hit the cycle mode with a mouse I can make the cycle mode for the entire song so after the 16 bars play the whole thing will repeat say suppose if I select this uh, clip and say copy this is copy to the clipboard now if I go to a place where this needs to be pasted i select that track and hit paste that clip is pasted there if i want to undo this operation i hit the undo key the action is undone say suppose i go to this clip here and select this track and if i actually move this it'll just move in increments of one bar say suppose i want to split the part into four parts if i hit this first button which says split region at playhead it'll make a split there see so i split the region all the four regions are split it separately so everything becomes a separate part say suppose i select all the four parts by dragging the mouse around it and join regions the whole thing becomes one so all shortcuts and all this kind of functionality is built inside the interface so it's very very convenient and then there are different buttons here so in logic if you look at the full interface and if you go move on to the different pages you can see that a lot of pages for logic and each page could be used to trigger one function or the other you can also make your own custom macros you can also make uh, buttons to trigger different shortcuts so you can make the loop deck interface your own by customizing it so that will be a subject for another video On the 3rd of February I am doing a LoopTech CT workshop for Nikita Distribution as the LoopTech mentor. This demo is going to be held at the Aranga shooting floor in Annanagar. It's free of cost, but the number of participants are limited to 20 per session. We have two sessions on that day, one in the morning and one in the evening. We request you to register by calling the number given below. The company will provide loop deck units to those of you who can bring your own laptops with the software loaded. 
On behalf of Nikita Distribution, I, T. Selvakumar, would like to welcome you for this workshop on 3rd February 2022. Hope you found this video informative. To watch more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Like this video, share it with your friends. Also press the bell icon to get notification as and when we post new videos. This is Selvakumar signing out for Audio Media Channel. Thank you.